let's welcome in our next guest. Dan O'Toole is founder and CEO of Arrive AI, which just went public today on the NASDAQ, trading under the ticker symbol ARAI. Uh, Dan, welcome to the show. Congratulations. Caroline, it's so surreal to hear the words you just said. Thank you so much. <laughs> Well, I want to uh, discuss the timing of going public, but before we do, I want you to explain to our viewers what Arrive AI actually does. I see that you say you're the essential missing piece that makes autonomous delivery actually work. Tell us what that missing piece is and how you do it. Yeah, autonomous delivery is getting ready to happen in so many ways via unmanned driverless vehicle, robotic delivery, drone delivery, all these different things, in addition to conventional delivery that we already have. But the notion of dropping all these things on the ground or having them emanate from being on the ground to be shipped is a non-starter. Uh, the only way you get this whole autonomous delivery network to really function at 100% is, is through Arrive AI, uh, where the seamless, frictionless point uh, that's delivering what we call asynchronous delivery between uh, robots, people, and drones, we're reducing that friction. Things can be dropped off on their own pace People don't have to meet a robot. You don't have to meet a drone. These things all happen on their own pace and, and commerce just goes from there. Okay, so I currently walk the street with some robots now for Uber Eats that are delivering food. Uh, so you're essentially um, piloting something similar via robots and in the air with drones, you're saying? Absolutely. We are the center of the delivery universe, you know, heated and cooled cargo area, notifications, uh, live streaming video, all kinds of different functionality and features and benefits. You know, an Uber Eats robot, you have to meet the robot to get what you need. Um, you know, sometimes you're late, maybe the robot might be late, whatever. But with us, it's all seamless. It's patience. The item shows up, you get a notification. We can preserve it. Uh, total chain of custody. Uh, when you get there, you know it's there. You don't have to rush. You don't have to take a day off work to, re to wait for your computer or your iPhone uh, or your hot food, you know, whatever it is, you're going to be set. So tell me how that's different than if I have to get something from the Uber Eats thing. Where do you leave it then, if you will? You know, you can, you can locate our unit anywhere you want, really. Uh, you know, we depict it or illustrate it at curbside because that's where you get the most utility. You know, right now, mail delivery comes to, to your curb uh, and all those kind of deliveries. But so it just makes sense to show that. We've actually integrated the U.S. mailbox into our unit. So we're consolidating all delivery to one secure point. And, and we're just making it easy. You can ship or receive from our product. And, uh, you know, if you want to send something back, uh, you can... Uh, pull up our return logistics icon, populate your last purchases, pick the one you want, uh, drop it in your arrive point. It notifies Amazon, something's coming back. Uh, it'll dispatch UPS. You don't have to find a uh, receipt. You don't have to print a label. The item will get picked up seamlessly, go back, and you'll just get the credit. You know, I call it right. a shipping store at your door. It would save me a, a quite a few trips to Whole Foods to send my Amazon re deliveries or uh, returns back. So uh, you're piloting this right now, if I have it correctly. So who are some of the, the customers that you're working with and what is it that you're delivering at this point? Uh, what are some of these partnerships that you have right now? Yeah, right now, we've got several use cases in, in function right now. Uh, healthcare is a first mover, um, both lab samples and uh, critical health um, supplies. And we find that to be a very uh, high value use case for us. Uh, you can see here the emergency light feature that we have uh, on our unit. Um, so that's a feature we offer, which is really saving lives. Uh, but, you know, food, uh, we're moving all kinds of food. Um, just really the, the use cases are limitless. 91% uh, of all commerce is five pounds or less. So it really opens up delivery to, to virtually every aspect of things that are being shipped. Is this what's to be expected when we think about the future of deliveries? And if that's the case, how are you going to differentiate yourself from some of your competitors? It is the future. And the reason it's the future is because the market will always take the path of least resistance. So convenience, nothing will match the speed and convenience, freshness of all those things uh, being delivered uh, autonomously. So that, that's a big um, aspect of it. Um, as far as how are we differentiating ourselves, 
We're, we've built tons of functionality. You know, if you're going to uh, disrupt the mailbox for the first time since 1858, you want it to be the biggest, best that you can. So we've got tons of IP. Uh, we've got a first position patent portfolio. We beat Amazon by four days on our foundational patent, beat the U.S. Postal Service by two weeks, and we're building out and executing on the IP that we hold. And we're also rolling that out to the world right now. Uh, it's a brand new market, 165 million addresses in the U.S. alone. That grows by 4,000 new addresses every single day. Uh, and we own that market. And we're going to get ready to now that we're public and accessing the capital capital markets of the public market uh, we're going to really execute and put a ton of accelerant on on our development it's exciting okay well let's bring it back to going public as i said you went public today on the nasdaq arai is your ticker symbol you decided to do it via direct listing versus ipo which we know sometimes can cause some more volatility but i'm curious about why direct listing and why now you know, we have a big lift with just the scalability opportunity that we have, Caroline. It, it's not, we're a crowdfunded company in our history, uh, and that's been, served us so well. I'm very proud of that. But at the, at the end of the day, it's hard to get ahead, ahead of your burn rate uh, when you're grinding out crowdfunding. Uh, what we're doing requires more capital. Uh, as you know, uh, IPO market has been frozen for a while. Um, but I, would, you know, I always felt like when it was our time to go public that moment, the clouds would part, the sun would shine brightly, and that would be our moment. And I really feel that uh, there's so many things aligning for us. I, I think that the market is set to uh, to really uh, great go in a great trajectory. I think the timing of uh, autonomy and all the accompanying infrastructure that's parallel to what we're doing is really catching up. And I think re, um, restrictions are being lessened. So it's just a perfect storm of good for us and there's no better moment. And I couldn't have chosen the moment better. And I've always had a lot of faith in the timing of when our, our moment was, that that would be perfect. And I couldn't have played it out better. I'm just really, today's the biggest day of my life, taking a private company that I've worked on for the last 11 years uh, to the NASDAQ. So proud of that. Um, everybody that helped us with our journey, we have 5,000 investors right now and we're looking to welcome a lot more and uh, just, I really appreciate this opportunity to introduce Arrive AI to the world. Thank you for that. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's always exciting to talk to a CEO on a, a day that they go public because it feels like sort of the end of a long road, but we know it's also really just the beginning for you. So talk to us about what we can expect in terms of uh, when these pilot programs become uh, kind of the reality. Geographically speaking, where are you right now? Where do you plan to be? When will I start seeing Arrive AI uh, robot machines, drones uh, at my doorstep? You know, what's really funny is um, I had the idea back in 2014 and everybody thought I was crazy. And one thing I learned, if you have a futuristic idea and people don't think you're crazy, you're, you're too late. So I celebrate the craziness, but this is our moment. It's happening right now. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, um, restrictions are lessening everywhere. Some of the biggest companies in the world are involved in, in our space. And the thing that I'm really excited about is, you know, I kind of view the drones and the robots and all the delivery um, aspects as kind of the commodities. And I view us as that center of that ecosystem, almost the monopoly, that little piece of real estate where every delivery will start and end. And I'm, I'm just so proud to be here at this moment and delivering on this. And it's it's happening everywhere. You know, we're getting calls from all over the world. You know, we wanna be very judicious about how we spend resources and uh, deliver ROI to our investors. So we don't wanna be scattershot all over the world. We're, we're starting as close to home as we can. We're based out of Indiana. Uh, there's a lot of use cases here in the U.S. that we are in talks with or already have begun uh, rolling out. So we're just excited about uh, the accelerant and, you know, um, just how quickly it's set to spread right now. Okay. All right. So just, just to clarify, because I was looking at that video footage. So one of those Arrive AI boxes, if you will, the, the digital mailboxes, if you will, Yes. Does each delivery get one of those, or would you go to that and there could be multiple deliveries in one of those? I'm just trying to wrap yeah, my head around how this is going yeah. to work in the future. Absolutely. That is a mobile, that's an AMR, an automated mobile robot. 
that is a unit that interacts with our unit, and, and this is a drone that interacts with us. We're the stationary uh, right here. This is us, okay. and we have several configurations. We have a unit that could be a single residential unit. Uh, we have a multifamily larger unit that can do internal sorting uh, and be put in front of a multifamily facility or maybe a commercial uh, store or something like that. We're developing a mobile unit that could be um, affixed to a commercial vehicle uh, for use on commercial job sites and things like that. Really, there's there's a use case for for every aspect that everywhere somebody needs something, we have we have or will have a product to fulfill that, and we're really proud of that. If you're on the 25th right. floor of a New York high rise and you want pizza, you might have a drone deck with heating or an arrive point with heating that would go. A drone would deliver to your 25th floor balcony and deliver to our unit. All right, I'm in a high rise. I'm waiting for it. Dan O'Toole, right, founder and CEO of Arrive AI. Thanks so much for joining the show and congratulations on the craziness, as you said. Thank you. Thank you, Caroline. <laughs> have a great day. Bye, guys. Enjoy it.